Hello, it's Chem Games here once again, and in this video we are going to make so when the player hits an obstacle like this, he will actually fall down and ragdoll. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the BB third person character. Let's open it, and we want to actually click the mesh from here, and we want to scroll down to where we find this collision presets. Okay. We want to open it and we want to click this where it says pawn and we want to change it to ragdoll like that. Okay? Now we want to scroll up and we want to go where it says skeletal mesh assets. Asset. We want to click this browse to and where it says browse to and our mesh mesh's name. So let's click this. Now we want to double click this mesh and we want to scroll down check if we have a physics asset here and we don't have any so he cannot react also let's click this and select a physics asset of our character so in this case this both will work with this character and this, this is for ue5 mannequin this will not work correctly so these two are for ue4 so i will select one of these so maybe this one okay save and close. So now the player uh, mesh has a physics asset. So now he can ragdoll. So now let's create the event. So let's go to the event graph and let's actually, I will move this to here. Okay. Now let's go to here at the bottom and let's create a new custom event. Okay. Let's call this custom event, let's call it death. Okay, and what we want to do on this death event, we want to get the character movement first. And from here we want to disable movement. And after that we want to disable input also. So let's get from here. Disable input. And after that we want to get the reference to our mesh. And from the mesh, we want to set simulate physics and we want to connect it and set it to true like this. And after that, we want to just add a some little delay, maybe like two seconds. And from there, we want to execute console command like this. And here we want to write restart level. Restart level, like that. Okay, let's compile and save. Now we have to call this function. So let's go to the third person map and to blueprints folder. And where we have this obstacles folder, let's open our barrier. Okay. And here, let's go to the viewport. We want to add a, a box collision to here, like this. Now let's move it. Actually, I will have to disable this, okay, like that. So now I will move this to the middle and I will scale it so it matches the size of the obstacle. Actually, I will disable that also. So like that, a little bit bigger. And it doesn't have to be the whole way to the down, like it can be a little bit up in the air, it doesn't matter. But it shouldn't be this uh, long, this uh, direction. So I want to scale this down a little bit and move it to here. And also I want to check that the uh, top part of the box is not coming through the barrier like that. So it will be like this. Okay, that's pretty good. So what we want to do next, we want to rename this box collision to death collision. And we want to scroll down and here where it says on component begin overlap, let's click it. And from the other actor, we want to cast to third person character like that 
And here we just want to call the that function. Oh, that function like this. So now when we compile and save all and go to play, everything should work. Let's see. So we are going. Well, let's see what happens. And as you can see, it works. And the level restarts after two seconds. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one. Bye.